Hello, everyone. We are live. Uh, today we have uh, Mark Farr and Andy Hobby and myself, Tim Spicoli, from Footsore Miniatures. Uh, we wanted to take this time. It's been a, it's been over a little a little over a month, and we we really like getting together and talk about what we're doing and what's going on in the news with us. We get we do get a lot of questions, so um, we've got some that we've that's been posed to us already. But before we get into questions, um, I think we want to talk about right away what's important is our Black Friday sales, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, case case you not been in case you haven't noticed it started so um uh you know uh go go and have a look um this year we decided that um we started early and we just keep we're just gonna keep it running to see how it goes um on this side of the pond what we've done is it's uh spend 100 pounds and get a 20 percent discount um on pretty much everything not quite everything's so not not you know some of the the brand new stuff but um, there's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff in there, um, and already my mail order boys are starting to cry because of the size of the orders. Um, <laughs> we've actually had to, had to actually uh, so so normally when we order mail order boxes, we have like a small box which we order loads of. We have a medium box that we order kind of a medium amount of, and we have a large box that we don't order very many of. It's the other way around now. So um, lots of people taking advantage of it uh, 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 and getting some great stuff. And I keep looking at some of these orders and I just keep going, why haven't I ordered? Why haven't right. I got that? That's, right. a good, that's a good force. Why didn't I think of that? So um, so just so you know, customers, I am trawling through your orders and have a little go in and ste <laughs> stealing, stealing some great ideas. That's this side of the pond. What are you doing, Tim? Well, on this side of the pond, for, if you spend $100, you get 20% off. Uh, and other than the mythic stuff, pretty much everything else of, from foot sore products are 20% off. And yeah. I myself have been doing the exact same thing as Mark was saying, going through orders even today with uh, Irish, uh, the IRA, some of the IRA figures and some of the uh, the uh, interwar period figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why haven't I sat down, you know, like there's a, a lady figure that's probably – that's well, not going to come up, but just one of these personality figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, oh, cool. she's perfect for for pulp games, and yeah, you know. Yeah. So this yeah. one kind of fell out. So if someone didn't get it, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so and I can tell you, I've been very, very busy, and I can attest to this: the size, of the orders of the of just the shipping boxes. Like, oh, right. I have a hundred left. I need to order more right now because right. just because of logistics. So, so it's been. So thank you to everybody who's taken advantage of it because you know it's great. Advantage you know, of us was that, Mark? Take your work, you know. Advantage of the advantage of the offer, or advantage <laughs> of us, whichever way you want to look at it, it's fine. <laughs> um, you know, like I say, I've got, it's, it, it's it's you sometimes forget how big our range is, and the people yeah, are obviously massive. going through and going, oh there's this and there's that and there's and i'm like that's great you know and it's, and it's it's a nice it's a nice refresher for me because obviously like a typical war gamer it's always the shiny new stuff i'm a hobby butterfly i like to see what's you know what, what what's um what's the latest stuff and it's really good to go back and um and see what else is there because there's some great stuff so yeah yep Yep, same here it's really neat especially <clears throat> people are buying lots of goths and Late Saxons and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. It's cool. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted. I'm saying good evening to everybody in the feed while you're. Uh, I, I'm doing the typing, so uh, <laughs> I'm not I've not had any wine this week, so it's <laughs> I can actually type. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What okay. have we got? What have we got in your cup there, Tim? Have you got mead in that mug? No, I wish uh, Earl Grey tea, decaf. No, I, oh, oh. That, that all sounded really good till you said decaf. <laughs> I, I, I had to cut back tremendously. So, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you know, cool. if you're going to cut back, come back on the caffeine, at least have the old grain, have the flavor. That's right. Good. That's what honey's for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, pretty much we covered Black Friday. I personally want to thank everyone for the support that I have seen here 
it's it's really neat. It's uh it's it's nice to see. So I'm doing my best to get your orders out as soon as I can. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we we you know we're we're quite lucky. I think that we're in the the, the hobby industry, and there's a lot of people at the moment who are having a really really tough time, and hopefully yeah. able to do some hobby is helping get them through it. Um, and so we're, we're, we're lucky that, you know, we're, we're in a business that's still in business. And there's a lot of people out there who are having a tough time. So, yeah, yeah. you know, we, we, you know, any money that you guys spend on your hobby with us is much appreciated. It really is. And, you know, we're determined to, uh, to be here as long as we can and keep sending out the orders so you guys got stuff to do, even if it is only to look, to look, to look at your miniatures and then add them to the lead pile. Like me. Yes. Yeah, no, that's serious, serious note though, yeah. It's uh interesting times as we keep saying. Interesting yeah. times. Yeah, for a second there you guys to pause, so I thought I lost you. Uh, you me. <laughs> yeah. we've got loads of, it's great. You can't, you can't multitask. I can't, no, no. Loads of people have joined us tonight, so I'm just saying hello to everybody. I'm being very well, nice yeah. for a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, going, uh, it's going crazy, isn't it? I'm just like oh, right, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. If you see me looking like squinting sideways, it's not. It's not because um, uh, I've got something else going on. I'm just trying to read the notes, and I'm old, and I'm you know, like, really I need my glasses, but then I look like you know. <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, I think that's it. I've said hello to everybody, but I'm I am listening, guys. I'm. Oh sure. Right. 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 Where should we uh, go next? Should we? Should we talk about Baron's Wall? Because it's been like. <laughs> the most the most the, the 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 most um deciding factor in my life for the last six months i mean i haven't got i haven't got any of the statistics here for like how many horses we had to make but um a lot i can't remember what the original numbers were but it was like thousands upon thousands of barded horses and thousands upon thousands of the new sergeant's horse and we seem to have spent all of our time casting um uh stuff which is good and we're getting to the point now where a lot of it has been cast and a lot of it has been packed and is being sorted and you know we're actually be uh, at the point where we can start to pack a few orders now so um and when i say tomorrow. start to pack uh, tomorrow yeah but when i say start to pack a few orders we'll we'll start on that but we're not going to send them out in trips and drafts we'll send them out as as proper groups so everybody gets them around about the same time i think the plan we is to to send them all together. We've got 666, I think, to do, yeah. uh, which is quite a few. Uh, it's a good number. It's a, That's a good it's a beast. For our, our, our and it is a beast. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beast of a number, yeah. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, we got, we got. Uh, I think what, as Mark says, we'll send them all out together if we can. St staggered, over, obviously, over a few days. However, if uh, things change or any, uh, issues arise we'll send the european orders out uh due to something we're doing in the uk which is do leaving something aren't we oh yeah. europe that's it yeah that's so uh, europe, yeah. so we don't want any of the guys who have ordered in from europe to get any un you know taxes on top and we don't we you know at the moment we still don't know what's going on even though we've been planning it for four years leaving the european union I think so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we won't, we don't want to penalize any of those guys, so we'll get those out as quickly as we can, and then uh, we'll go far flung, I guess, first. So the guys over in uh, Australia, etc., yeah. uh, and Singapore and Japan, which takes the longest. Uh, if it's looking like it's going to be early December before we send, we'll send those first, so they've got a yeah. chance of getting there before Christmas, and then uh everybody else you know the americans next and then the guys in the uk but I, i'm guessing we'll send all those together it's really just uh we don't want to penalize anybody for, yeah. for shenanigans but they were i unless we all get the you must stay at home uh car coming around the streets with the the loud hailer you know <laughs> stay off the streets you know that kind of thing we, we will still be uh picking packing and dispatching won't we mark yeah 
uh, for the next in, four weeks. In a, weeks, in a socially distanced way. So it's going to be, yeah, 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 gonna be yeah, sensible. Yeah. So, you know, we're not yeah. we're not being yeah. daft about it, but, um, you know, because obviously we have a concern for our, our friends and staff as well who are helping. So, yeah. The good news is you've done a lot of the packing and, and stuff yes. already in preparation. So we can yes. set up uh, picking yeah. areas and dispatch areas away from each other. Uh, yeah tomorrow so that will work won't it and we were yeah. waiting for the rule book to come and the tokens and now we have stock of everything which yeah. is good so which leads us really nicely into mr andy hogday was going to do a little alpha set of rules that you know <laughs> would be that big <laughs> and that detailed and he was going to give it away and you know wasn't going to spend that much time on it and um what does it look like now andy you know bang out some rules give it away you know yeah, yeah it's 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 it is a thing of beauty it's turned out all right say. hasn't it yeah it's turned out all right yeah. i think every everybody who's backed us will be very happy when this lands uh in your pledge for free yeah. you know because it's a it's now uh I think it's about fifteen pound rule book, isn't it? Yes, and that and that's yeah. me still being kind, isn't it? We could probably yes, I think so. It, but... Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I I think it's brilliant. I, yeah. I, I did notice that actually there was a little um, phrase missing out of it for the next reprint that we must put in, which is if we're playing against if, if we're playing against Mark, he always wins. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we get that we get that on the next on the next print run. Absolutely, yeah. It's yeah. It, 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 I'm really. I, I mean, we've been really lucky. I mean, look, you know, the cover, the 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 wrap round cover is beautiful, and it's by uh, Peter, Peter Dennis, Dennis. Uh, who's done us a real good service. Uh, and there's some more artwork in here by Peter. So uh, yeah, so that's that's really good. Uh, and then Steve Beckett, who's uh, taken my taken my scribbly diagrams. Uh, uh, for, for rules diagrams he's made them into something quite beautiful inside hasn't he yeah they, they were like I, I i kid you not they were pencil drawings on a piece of paper which i photographed and sent him and <laughs> you know i look at what he's done with them and the guy's an absolute saint you know i mean look at that look at that in there can you see it look at that for a diagram yeah. beautiful he's done some really nice stuff with it and uh yeah and he's done the layout and everything and he's done a great job and um, yeah really pleased i i i I think it, the thing the thing that's important is the Kickstarter has never been about the rules. So no, you know, it was about to talk. No, and and what we've created is a I think a, a lovely book that is uh, mirrors the quality of the miniatures. I think that's the important thing. I think you know the the, the miniatures in the Baron's Wall that Paul Hicks has sculpted are beautiful. And I think the rule book needed to reflect how good those figures are. Yeah, I so mean, it's, that, good, you know. it's a good indication of how good the figures are because I've, you know, obviously I see a lot of toy soldiers um, yeah. from lots of people. And if I actually want to spend the time painting them, then, yeah. you know, that's, that's a good sign of the quality of the miniatures. And I've, you know, and I've, re I've really enjoyed painting up my little Baron's Wall retinue. You know, it's, it's, and, and I've still got more stuff on the go. So, you know, that's a, yeah. that's a really good plan, I say. The photos of the miniatures in the book's really nice as well. So yes. Good, good inspiration for painting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we, uh, I, want, I always want to call him HMV because it's a chain of stores here in the UK. Yeah. But H, HVM Workbench, uh, Daniel Vago, he yeah. he did some of the painting and so did Darren Lennington uh, and Jazz Allen did some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but what Daniel did as well was he took those photos, you know, those sta lovely stage photos of the figures, and he he just did that. He I didn't ask him to. Uh, mm -hmm. He just he just took them and sent them, and and having that, things like that as well, and, and nicely painted miniatures has really added to it. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with it. I the book looks great. I hope people like the game as much. As the book. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So. So the plan is, I know people have been ultra patient, the backers, the the digital uh, PDF will be going out hopefully on Monday. 
to all the backers. So that should be landing then. Uh, and then we'll we'll start getting these in orders and get them sent. So, so it, it, that's good to know about that painter because I was wondering myself and I had never yeah. asked you, but I need him for painting moderns for, for the modern rule book, definitely. Because I just can't, I can't do it all. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. There's some, there's so some, if you're yeah. watching, send it. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. I've just uh, I've just sent him some miniatures for the Baron's War Three Kickstarter. So they left today, but um, more on that more on that later when yeah. when the Baron's War Two has left the yeah. building. Yeah, let's 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 do that bit first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want that ton of metal <laughs> literally out. It is a, a ton, yeah. Yeah, it is a good job we got reinforced concrete floors. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anyway, that, that that that's the Baron War. There's some there's a few questions coming through about uh uh about it. We'll we'll answer some of those at the end. Uh I just but Mark George Asling says our play testing says different, Mark, about you winning. Yeah, yeah, that's only because I used to have to restart the game. But he stuck Oh you mean let, let him win, is that yes. what you're saying? That's it, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's very nice of you, very gentlemen. I do see uh, <laughs> Michael Mark. Yeah, Michael Marshall asks about. Uh, he says he's a wee bit late. Asks about the uh, the new deal structure. Um, I don't know if he's referring to the Black Friday sales, but I think uh, he is. Yeah, spend a hundred pounds in the UK, you get twenty percent off. In the US, if you spend a hundred dollars, you get twenty percent off. These are footstore. or more, or more. Or more. They, they, or more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and these are on footstore products. Yeah, you just you just click on the Black Friday link, and it right. shows you that all the stuff that's in the deal. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's lots to Corey Denny, I love the Militex Christi monks. Yes, so do I. Those are actually one of my favorite figures. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's rules. There's rules for them in the uh, in the book as well. Yeah. So, which is cool. Yeah, yeah you can use them. Yeah. Uh, I've just been else? I've just been reading a book that 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 would suggest they were. That uh, uh, lots of these um, uh, monks were very militant. <laughs> so well, some of them, well, some of them set themselves up as barons, didn't they? You yeah, know, like they, they had barons, and they they invited a few knights to uh, come and live at their monastery yeah. or whatever, and yeah. they'd, they'd go out and do land grabs themselves. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's, it's not all uh, it's not all this. There's some of that yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. All in so, the name of this. All, yeah. all in the name of this. Yeah, oh, yeah this yeah, would be yeah. a perfect place for a church. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear. Uh, you can we clear can... up the buildings, then everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Eduardo goes. says, "Sorry, Eduardo says, can can you give us an idea on the model count for Baron's War Warband Force?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'd. <sighs> Obviously, I like knights. So when I first started, I uh, I painted up about ten knights. I don't ever field ten knights now. I probably field six or seven, including my army commander. And then yeah. I field probably three or four units of guys that are between six and eight man in a unit. So mm. I can't do the maths off the top of my head, but. Um, you know, 30 to 30 to 40 figures. Um, when I've been playing against George, he's gone for um, more of a, a mob type stuff. So he's fielding 50 or 60 figures. Um, and, uh, you know, those are the kind of numbers that seem to work quite well. That, we've been, that's we've for about 1,000 points, isn't it? Yeah. So you, yeah. Can, you could play, play smaller than that. You know, I, I reckon start about 500. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know, about 15, 20 miniatures and build up from there. Hmm. So you don't, need, you don't need vast armies. And, you know, the other thing is if your groups are too big and everything, they, they become a bit unwieldy. And the idea is it's a skirmish game, so there's loads of scenery. Hmm. So when you, when you get the rule book and you have a look, it's not, you know, like sometimes you see historical battles that people play at there's not an, an awful lot that goes on on the board because the scenery gets in the way and it's inconvenient for moving big units and stuff it doesn't doesn't work like that it's it's you know the, the idea is you know you're raiding villages and there's houses in the village or it's robin hood in the forest or it's you know there's all of these things going on and there's lots and lots mm. of scenery and it, it, it's all about it, it, it it's all about if it's you know, it's set in the barons war it's all about 
local guys taking advantage of the local situation. Um, so there's lots of historical precedent and lots of guys you can who were who were around who you can look at and go, oh, I could be that guy because he was a so and so and he did this that and the other. Or you could go, well, you know, I just I just like yellow and black as colours. I'll just like paint up some lights and I'll call in Sir Mark of Erryford and um, you know. Mm. I'll my own, I'll paint my own retinue and do and do and, and do my own thing because it's e- e- equally equally valid. So you know, there's lots of lots of choices, yeah. lots, lots of options. But you know, you, you're it, it has. A, I have to say, having played it a lot, um, it has a very intense feel, and I don't fancy having to field uh, an army with a hundred figures in it because after I finish my game, I'd have to go and sleep for the rest of the day. To recover, um, but uh, you know, it's it, been pr- pretty. Yeah, some of the games have been pretty intense, haven't they? Oh God, yeah. You know, yeah maybe yeah. That's just because we're old now, Mark. I've had to go and have a lie down as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you've just been adjudicating. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me and George going. <laughs> yeah. One of the so sw- that, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Kieran Slater. Hello, Kieran. Uh, asked how many pages? It's 142, including the cover. So it grew a bit, didn't it, Mark? It did. It's 142 pages of complete gorgeousness. Kieran yeah. is the answer. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Stephen Keating. They should leave me alone. You're absolutely right, mate. Yeah. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, do you plan to add something? This I think this is one from you. Did you pick this up, Tim, back from Stanislav? lab? Uh, uh, do you plan to add something to your older Dark Ages ranges like Goths, Late Romans, Huns, etc.? Well, we're That's not. But yeah, I mean, we're kind of like there's only so many hours in the day, and there's mm. so many sculpt, so many sculptors. So, some of you know, we were quite lucky that when we got the futsal range, Bill s- sculpted some pretty comprehensive range ranges, yeah. and they don't actually need us to go back and revisit them much because they are pretty complete. You know, I mean, you know, Bill, the Bill's proper war gamer so you know he, he, you go i need this and i need this and i need this and he goes and makes it so we we've got a lot of our older ranges um you know they are show that that you know that that they they uh you know that they they're still showing those good miniatures we would go back and maybe do bits and pieces on them and add add a few bits so you know we we can we can always go back and look at that but Currently, we're 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 looking a little bit more forward. So you know, you'll have, you'll have seen bits and pieces that we're doing. I mean, you know, obviously, when we did the the, the late Saxons, are a really good example um, of us mm. going back and looking at a range again. Well, maybe that could do with a little bit more work first. So you know, we've got that gorgeous gorgeous range of uh, Matt Bickley Saxons that are just stunning, and you know, that's that's kind of where we're going. So some of the ranges don't mm. need. That, that work if there was some reason to go back like we'd I don't know I don't know if we discovered some um, some new goth uh, history came up and was discovered or they discovered some new helmets or what you know they found an old battlefield site and it changed the way we looked at goths and all the rest of it then we might and then all of a sudden everybody's like got that feeding frenzy if they want to learn more and see more and understand it more and then we might go back and do that so yeah but at the moment, we're kind of in that uh, we're in that kind of late dark ages, kind of early medieval mindset. I think it's fair to say at, at the moment, but that doesn't mean you know that we won't go back. I'd like I'd like to do some early Saxons, but that's something totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so there's some great stuff to be done there. We know so. Yeah, and and, and yes, we are pretty British child centric at the moment. Sorry, chaps. There's something wrong yeah. with that. Um, one of the questions I've seen, Eduardo was asking if we'll have media on the game, how to play. And and I know Andy and I talked about doing, yeah. talk, talking about that. So there's. Yeah. Uh, we, I've just nearly finished a website for a hub for the Baron's War, which uh, will hopefully go live next week. And it will have a forum for a community. Uh, downloads, uh, uh, 
something else blog you'll have a blog po blog on there which will we'll use to write new rules articles army lists that kind of stuff so yeah for, for anybody who doesn't know andy's our tech wizard yeah 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 <laughs> so uh i wanted to take it off facebook for a change you know there'll, there'll be we'll we'll go live with a facebook group as well i think for the baron's war but most of the most of the the extra uh, uh content will be po hosted there in the in this site and part of that eduardo will be uh videos but unfortunately we're on lockdown at the moment so although we can work we can't record and you probably see all these boxes behind me and stuff i bought some lots of gear so we can set up a big overhead uh frame a new camera everything ready to do videos so we have all the gear i i also have no idea but we'll work it out as we go along but the plan is to do how to play videos battle reports uh you know questions and answers you know video questions and answers for mm -hmm. For the baron's war and we'll also then go back and do mortal gods because we really should do mortal gods yeah. as well and so and, and while we're talking about mortal gods thank you to everybody who actually went and did battle reports and stuff yes uh, for well, us because yeah, yeah because brilliant. they did a great job so yeah <laughs> yeah 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 and we, we we should be doing that i mean we did it uh uh for gang uh gangs of rome way back how to play <laughs> and we we got a lot of help from jamie tranter yeah, and he did a brilliant job on those uh but what we've struck you know i uh i can point a camera and shoot stuff i'm not very good at then doing all the rest of the stuff around it so it's yeah. uh we want to do it properly so so that's what it is I, but you know the other thing is i'm quite happy to shoot us playing a game rough and ready so you can see it play if people are interested uh you know so we could do that too there might be we might have to rate it 18 but uh Depends be some, yeah. yeah some rude rude words i'm sure but uh maybe we maybe we do that to start with and do a uh yeah maybe we just shoot a game so you can actually yeah. see it play with raw you know shoot it raw and then so you can actually see a game yeah, I like that too, especially whenever you're trying to learn a new set of rules and it's neat to see how it's actually played you know actually being played then you go oh yeah. okay now i understand the context yeah yeah no yeah i i think we should and and we should do there's some key well we'll i i really want to record some key rules and show how you give actions and how you move things and stuff on the table and then with with the beauty of having this uh this hub this site people can say well could you just do a rule a short rule video for this he just show us how to do that and we'll shoot those and put them up as well so yeah. i want it to be a living breathing site so it you know I, I, you know we got so even though in here it's got army lists for the barons war you can lift all those out and put them in other places you know you don't have to just play in england but we've also got vikings saxons we talked about this before vikings saxon norman army lists done we've got welsh we've got irish we've got you know dark ages wise and medieval we got the scots we got the you know the islanders the king of the isles and mm, then we yeah. want to go you know we want to go off and we want to do loads of stuff and i'm sure as people start well i hope as people start to play and they enjoy it they might start to take uh, build special groups of their own and give them abilities and so i've just created this group of flemish mercenaries and give them crossbows but i've also given them axes it says i can't do that but i thought we could use this ability and how many points do you think that would be hey guys why don't you try and play this and and let's work it out and then as these these groups begin to be used and shared we'll we'll point all the the ones that are good and we'll just leave them in there for people to use so yeah, i, I you know. obviously our, our interest is in the british Isles. yeah um but there's obviously not the british isles in isolation right. That, yeah. comes 2020, that comes 2021 but before yeah. that um uh you know there's loads of stuff going on all over europe at the same time as we're looking at the barons wars at the mm. same time as we're looking at uh, the norman invasion of england and all of these kind of things there's there's, there's loads of fantastic stuff going on all across europe mm. and there'll be there'll be you guys out there who who it's your period and your interest and you're going to take the rules and go 
right, I need these guys. I need, and I need to, yeah. you know, yeah. give give us, you know, give us the information, you know, and, and tell us what they did and what they were like. And we can, you know, we 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 can, you know, it, it, it it's a really flexible system that will yeah. that can incorporate a lot of stuff, and it'll be quite exciting. I want to, you know, I want to know the bizarre stuff, you know, scrailings. Scrailings. Yes. yes. Yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? You know. Well, Somebody I know from here, I just packed a big, pretty big scrailings here in the U.S., so someone's going to need a, an army list. <laughs> oh, lovely as well. well, you know, the, the, the thing is as well, we've kind of gone backwards Dark Age-wise. We could keep going. We could keep right. going and do early Saxons, late Romans, you know, et cetera, all the way back if we wanted to. Uh, I just, I've just focused, I, you know, the Barons' War is something I'm really excited about. Uh I've just done what excited me, but I'm I'm happy for people who feel the same way about you know uh, the Teutonic Knights, maybe mm. you know in 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 that whole northern northern European going into eastern Eastern Europe and stuff yeah. to to do all of that, and uh, you know that would be great. And all the there's all the interse intercession wars in France and into then into Spain, etc. You know, so it's all that, and and David Cowper has just put Crusades, please. Yes, David, they're next. So we'll we'll do we'll do. Uh, you know, we've already started drafting Crusade army lists. So you know, we why wouldn't we? You know, yeah. that's that would be where we go. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and and again, it, the community on on the platform can feed in. Tell us what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excited about it. Super excited. George has just said we could live stream so we can answer questions while we play. We could, yeah. If we could. I says, I, George, that would be a great idea as long as you and Mark don't argue. That would be fine. <laughs> That's funny. I, 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 you know, for me, I'd, wanna, I'd, I'd want, like, you know, somebody who was good looking and uh, was a body what? double and was eloquent to play, to, you. To, to play me, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Anyway, is, is that enough on Baron's Wall, I think? Oh, I think yeah, so someone said it, Crusader figures. Uh, Michael, yes. we. I've already had a huge discussion with Paul Hicks about Crusader figures. Uh, we've got a massive plan for that, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, Willis, Willis Maximus, are you going to expand into Black Powder? I can attest on this side... We have stuff coming up beginning of next year that we've been working on. There you go. Because yep. on Tim's side of the pond, the start of the Black Powder period is ancient history. It is. Nothing before that happened. I mean, we weren't even, right. we weren't even discovered. So. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, look, with, um, uh, I think I might have said this before, but... Um, with, with the guys we've got, we've always got lots of stuff circling around. We're always spinning lots of plates. There's always lots of ideas, and, and you know, um, so uh, and, and 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 to use yet another analogy, but the pops bubble, uh, the pops bubbling was something that popped to the top, and that's what we and, and we're all we're, we're all in sync, and, and it, it happens, and that's what we do. You know, it'd be nice to say there's a cunning plan, and we got it all organised, and we know what we're doing for the next five years, but. I think I think that's unfair, Mark. I think we know what we're doing for the next five years. We just don't know which order we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, yeah, we uh, we have that time where we're all we're all lined, we're all in sync, and we get uh, and we yeah. get to deliver the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's pl yeah. plenty, plenty, plenty going on. But for for me, in in the Barons War, we got the twenty twenty one will be uh, one early on with the villages, and it will be the Barons War three, which will be yeah. a campaign pack, and it'll have the village, and it'll uh, be be a story kind of set, and there'll be some extra rules in there and some characters, and it'll be a lot of fun, and then. Uh, later in the year, it will be the Crusades. That's what Paul has agreed. Uh, that's what we'll do next year. So that's our yeah. plan. Yeah. So. And then, you know, Footsore itself's got its own projects. 
we're working on a, a, a another project with Mr. Matt Bickley at the moment, um, which it, which will be quite exciting for people who like historicals, which is really good. Uh, and then obviously we're doing uh, more work on Mythic as well. Trish is now on her third monster for the new for the new range, so um, so that's quite exciting as well. Um, so yeah, you know we've got that going on, and then Tim's got his stuff going on on his side of the pond. There's another few projects. So again, it's all about we've got, lo- we've got loads of just got loads of stuff. It's just like de- 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 trying to sort out what we deliver it in and make sure that um, you know every every everybody gets uh, you know get get gets what they want out of it. You know, and that means not. Suddenly delivering all all you know six projects all in the same month. <laughs> no, it's that right. spread it out so everybody can see what there is and, uh, 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 and get at it and access it and, uh, uh, and and get what they want out of it. So that's you know that's important and, as well. So yeah, and and also you know all three of us agree that it's about delivering. Yeah, you know so you know if we are yeah. going to. Uh, commit and do something new we need to deliver what we've done before yeah yeah i mean i think you know we always try and try and deliver that's that's the thing no uh, well we yeah we that's that it's important isn't it yeah of course it's yeah yeah to us it's important you know so yeah absolutely uh cool talking kickstarters should we just Quickly mention cover because we know we had some pre questions about it, didn't we? Yes, yeah, yeah we should talk about it really, shouldn't we? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, it, it's it's not a futsal project. Um, we used futsal as a platform uh, to launch uh, the, the trailer and stuff, um, but really it's. Uh, it's a group of a group of old friends who've got together um, to 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 do some um, stuff uh, based on some absolutely fantastic artwork. Um, so you know, Andy and I were were out visit, out, visit, out visiting the one day, and all this lovely artwork kept coming out, and we were like, <gasps> and. It, it's kind of taken a while, but it's grown from there. But it's a separate project to uh, futsal, um, yeah. Uh, and we're hoping, you know, that it, you know, some probably it's a bit. Uh, some of it may not a- appeal to our historical gamers. If you're into, you know, if your thing is is the saga or mortal gods or gangs of Rome, you might look at it and go, no. Mm. It's not for me, yeah. Um, but it's you know, it, it was. Uh, we think that we've got a our, our, most of our customers are a broad church who like lots of things, so we thought that'd be a good place to uh, to, to launch it. But it is a it is a, a separate project, I think it's quite an exciting project. I, I absolutely love it. Um, I, you know, it's, it's completely different to anything else uh, that we've done or looked at, um, so it's quite exciting. But it will be, it will be, it will be separate from. On futsal, other than um, I mean, yeah, I think the only uh, reason we're mentioning it is is because you and I are involved, Mark, and we yeah. we work for futsal, yeah. and we just want people to realize that it isn't a futsal project. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I'll still be posting about it on Facebook, uh, because obviously I'm involved in it, but uh. Just really, you know that that's that's what it is. We just wanted to be clear about it, didn't we? Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, so people don't think that that's something that we're doing. Like, yeah. and Tim's getting loads of questions about it, and Tim's like, "It's not me. <laughs> it's not me." Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> yeah, so so that's you know that's it. And we did, we didn't want all our historical players to think we'd gone off to the dark side of fantasy, you know, when and we were leaving futsal behind or not not focusing on futsal. That's not yeah. the case. It's, it's something totally different. Yeah. 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 Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about other things. Uh, only just noticed Andy's T-shirt was hidden by the name tag previously. Loved the vintage d d red box vibe. Thank you. Yeah, me and me and Tim were talking about the vintage red box earlier before we came on. Thank mm-hmm. you. It's mm-hmm. the first, it's my first, uh, I got the T-shirt because it's the first, my first uh, version of D&D that I played. 
when I was younger. And I was explaining, and yeah. my first version was the, the original Red Box. Yeah, this is, one. Yeah, yeah. Which is upstairs, <laughs> the, the basic and, and expert set. So, yeah. blue. Yeah. The expert one's blue, isn't it? Yeah. And the master was black, wasn't it? Did you not get that high, Tim? The master's black. What are you talking about? Yeah, the, there was a a D and D master set which was black. Oh, I didn't get that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't see the logo on your T-shirt either, Andy. Is it the, what, what the one doing the dragon going? No. Yes. Oh, that yeah. one. That, yes, that one is right. That one, yeah. I can't that remember. Um, I'm sure uh, Games Workshop released a model of that dragon. In their it is Red Dragon. dragon yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, got it, I've got it somewhere amongst my collection of dragons. I it's used really to have it as well. I don't know where it is now. And the blue, there was a blue dragon as well. They did. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Not so keen on the blue dragon, but the red dragon. Red one was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll make sure to get original T-shirt and wear it the next time. So we'll we'll school you. I've got I've got a great T-shirt. I was going to wear it tonight, but I'm going to save it. It okay. was uh, on on the on the radio station that I listened to Six Radio over here. Uh, they had T-shirt, you know, band T-shirt day. So you put where you whatever band you have, and uh, they you then you you'd send a photo in uh, on Instagram with the hashtag you know t-shirt day and they, they would choose the ones they saw and play tracks from the from the band t-shirts uh but i've had a i've had a super group t-shirt made and i was going to wear it tonight but i'll save it and it was it was especially for this but it, it's not to do with uh uh music it's to do with gaming it would be oh. who would be in my super team my super group <laughs> well i would have hashtag pictures of you oh, oh. <laughs> you better know where that came from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, dear. Yeah. That's cool. awesome. Anyway, we, we totally lost it. Uh, let, let's, let's bring this what back in. We had, together. had some more questions. Uh, Crusade. As Timo yeah, says, yeah. says, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Timo just asked about Bronze Age Mortal Gods. He said he's looking forward to that. So, yes, so am I. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, that's going to happen next year. Yes. Yes, we are, definitely. What else have we got? Uh, how many members in a war band? Uh, for, uh, which one, what war band is that? Is that Kevin... Uh, excuse me if I pronounce your surname wrong, Kevin. Arbor Mail? Arbor Mail? How many members in a war band? I'm not sure. Is that for Baron's War? If it is, we said it's about 30 for 1,000 points and then yeah. on average, but it could go up to 40, etc. Yeah. And for, for 500, about 15 to 20. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of flexibility in your troop choice. So um, when you pick your force, you could... You could pick a really elite knight for and probably field half a dozen figures, mm. or for the same amount of points, you could probably get like twenty or thirty figures on the table. So you've got yeah. a real lot of variety in there. So it depends, depends, you know, what you want to feel, what your what your style is like. You know, I I, I, I like um, one hit wonders. You know, I love you know, I love the knights just going and <laughs> yeah. and that's and that's it. And other and other people are more subtle than me. Hmm. Cool. Awesome. Good. So uh, I'm just thinking if we've got anything else exciting to talk about, um, just to let people know that uh, it, we've not forgotten about uh, Mortal Gods, uh, a mythic. Like I said, Trisha's made some more monsters. Uh, I have seen some lovely sculpts of the Egyptian Marines for oh yeah yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Persians and the, the Persian the Persian chariot as well is coming along nicely. So I think once we've done those, we've completed the Persian card deck. Um so they're quite exciting. Um, when do we when do we think we'll have them? Well um John's finished the sculpts for the Egyptians. He's on the horses now for the chariot. Um so I don't think they're more than like a couple of weeks away at the most. And then obviously we need to get them over and we need to get them molded and all, all the rest of it. Mm. So 
you know, I don't think I'd love to say this side of Christmas, but that might be pushing it. How many um, pieces chariot? Sorry, Pardon? how many pieces is are the is the chariot? Uh, not many. Okay, good. Yeah. It's not like not like not like tons. You know, they're not. You know. It's not like um, a snotly pump wagon that goes up and up. It's you know. It's... I love that. <laughs> I love the snotly <laughs> pump wagon. <laughs> so he's working. He's working on that now. Um, you know, it's obviously going to be uh, a base and three sides and two wheels uh, yeah. and an axle and a crossbar yeah. and two horses yeah. and two groups. So you know, maybe a few pieces, but you know. Uh, yeah. What I've seen so far, I'm, I'm excited by it. I particularly like the Marines he's done. The Egyptian Marines look lovely, so that's good. Uh, and then I'm just trying to think what else exciting I've got. We've got some more. Uh, we've had some of the heroes sculpted as well. Um, they're waiting to go into production molds. So for Mythic, so we'll start releasing those as soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as they're ready as well. So that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's in the pipeline. Um, I'm trying to think if there's... Um, Anything else? That's, that's actually when I said, you know, I say, oh, it's just this, that, and other. Well, quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff. well, things like, well, Mythic got re released, didn't it, to the general yeah. public recently, which is good. Yeah. Uh, and then the Hades cards went out of stock because everybody yeah. went mad for them. Yeah. And they're back in, aren't they? Yeah, they're just back now. Yeah. And, and then the Persians and the Kushites uh, are both in. Yeah, they're both back in now. Um, Zeus and. Um, Hero. Hero X will be back in next week, so I'm hoping to go and collect those off the printer on Monday. Didn't, didn't last long, did they? Didn't last long either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's good. So, cool. uh, the only uh, deck we didn't run, haven't physically run out of yet is Hero, which um, kind of surprised me because that's got like Medusa and the sisters and right. stuff in. Yeah, mm. So, yeah, but uh, cool. everybody likes skeletons and heroes. Yeah. So. So yeah, cool. but that's you know there's there seems to be a good following with that and um, uh, the uh, North Star who's our distributor keeps asking for more stuff so um, that's really that's 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 good so you know it's it's, it's all going really well so yeah. Well, we got some plans as well, haven't we? I know we keep talking about it for Mortal Gods, but we're going to add to uh, the auctions for next year. So that yeah. we will flesh out Greece and then we'll. Yeah, we talk about doing uh, the Bronze Age. We'll definitely do Troy yeah. and Troy, yeah, and all of that business. Well, most of it's done, and yeah. uh, you know more for Mythic. So yeah. you know more gods is flying. Maybe, maybe after next year or at some point, we do some Romans. Maybe mm -hmm. put it do, do Rome. We could move it yeah. on, somewhere, couldn't we? Yeah, I don't, I don't I, like Romans. Well, I've, I've no real desire to do them. Yeah. But there's lots of you know there's, there's lots of way there's you know lots we'll of people that. like them and i like to you know uh, i'm kidding of course we should do them shouldn't we of course really. we should yeah um and you know like to look at the byzantine empire as well that's that's really mm. exciting that's you know i i, um, I think i think it needs a campaign system doesn't it more god yeah i think uh we need to visit it and do something where you can uh keep your, he get your heroes yeah. from from game to game or your your yeah. low cost and and skill it up and own it really yeah. i think that's what yeah. we need to do yes uh, and yeah. so you know michael's just said elephants yeah definitely we're definitely going to do some rules for elephants yeah uh so yeah we we need to add all of that but i because of the size game it is it would be great to be able to build your own uh uh promo costs and low cost wouldn't it and yeah Make make them individual and Individuals, give them yeah, yeah, gifts yeah. and stuff, and, yeah, and, and make all yeah. that and keep them from game to game. I think that would yeah, be really cool. Yeah. And make a real uh, character full force around them that you know, yeah. you know. So a bit a bit like you know, Jason and the Argonauts. It's like you yeah, know, it's your it's your leader and it's your crew, and they're all special. And you know, what do you yeah, think? That'd be, that'd be really quite nice. I think that worked, wouldn't it, Tim? We could do that. Yeah. That would that would be good. We should do that next year. I think. Oh. We should do it where you could uh, uh, have like the labors of Hercules and stuff like that. So you you can go and fight. Oh, we could have a quest generator. So mm. the low cost can go off on different quests. That would be pretty cool. Mm. 
That'd be awesome. Okay. It's been noted. <laughs> yes, Dom. It's noted. <laughs> Michael just said we should call it Hero Quest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and only sell it in America, yeah? Yeah. Right. We'll charge you what? What is it? Four hundred dollars a box set now, or something? Wow. For the Hero Quest? Like, you know, crazy. I, I I loved it when it came out, but not that much. Jesus. Yeah. You know, I I you know, it, it, good for them. They're cashing in on nostalgia, sure. aren't they? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. move on. Yeah. Move on. So, um, where was I? I think I was at the end of my flow. Um, I've got a couple of historical ranges in the pipeline that I think will get people quite excited uh, mm -hmm. uh, next year. Um, uh, they kind of just uh, stopped a little bit because obviously uh, Matt is busy uh, sculpting the witches for us. Um, but I think I've got, I've got two quite exciting ranges. I'm not going to say a lot more, but, you know, I think Footsaw is, is going to deliver on the historical front next year for people big time. So I'm quite excited about that. I can tell you on this side, Glenn and I, are, Glenn more so than I right now is painting up uh, figures for the French and New York Kickstarter. And uh, I have a nice project to do on that with that as well. Um, and I promised myself that I wasn't going to release anything new in December to give myself a break. But that doesn't mean that stuff isn't being worked on or yeah. isn't hasn't already been sculpted uh, with plans for the, the French and Inuar Kickstarter next year, modern rule set with with miniatures and all that fun bits. We are working diligently on that right now as we speak. So there'll be a lot. I mean, that's what's great. If you look at Footsort itself, you can start from very early all the way up to modern and even future modern so we're, we're both very busy and then yeah. we still also have our, our loves that we come to and say hey it would be great to do this and that so yeah, yeah that's so good it's going to be a good couple of years i think well yeah we, the other thing we haven't mentioned is uh games of rome you know when we yeah. we we keep saying the campaign books coming campaign books coming it is coming you know uh we released uh, as a free download on the website uh, for the 40 denarii, all the rules for 40, yeah. the 40 denarii in, uh, as cards. So you can just go and play with those if you haven't got them away you go. You know, you can even write them on, use blank bases if you want to try them out, one to 40, off you go. And I think what we're going to do as well is uh, we're just about to release a, uh, a download so you can generate fighters. Hmm. So uh, at the moment, I, one of the one of the things I really really like about Gangs of Rome is like the blind cards that you get because yeah. I think you're 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 buying citizens of Rome and you don't know who they are when until you get them home and open them up. So for those cards, but I know a lot of people didn't like that, you know. And we 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 got equal positive and negative press yeah. for that. I think. Yeah, I so, think some people kind of thought there was like a collectible element to it, and. and and uh, 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 and there wasn't. It was it was supposed to be that complete complete random generation. Uh, That's ten thousand uh, you know. different cards we made. Yeah. yeah. So you know, yeah. There's a we there's a random generator that we have that just generates fighter cards. Yeah. So what we've done is taken elements of that and made some tables. So you can you we'll we'll release it in a couple of weeks where you can just roll up some fighters and we'll make some blank cards, which will be more basic than the ones you get. But if you want to go and create five or six fighters and give Gangs of Rome a go, you can do that. So the idea is to to try and make it uh, a bit more accessible. Is that is that the right word for people? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can give it a try. So that that's what we're going to do. So both both of that both the uh, the list of the denarii list where you've got the forty denarii and the pa paper and dice generator for generating fighters will be in the book. But we'll also, you know, we'll also have other ways to, to do stuff. And all the cards that you have and all the current, you know, denarii that you have, if you actually have them, then that's, you know, that's really cool. You've yeah. got a real deal. And you can use all of those as well. But it's just just to try and generate some more fighters for people to use. Yeah. And then uh, I see Dom's uh, asked uh, at the other end of the uh, 
at the other end of the uh, time scale, Dom's asked about the modern vehicles for us in the UK. Uh, the answer is, Dom, we've got the the, the actual vehicles made. We, what we haven't got around to doing yet is getting the metal bits onto production moulds. Once we've done that, then we can release some of Jim's modern vehicles over here, which will be quite sexy. But, you know, we'll get we'll get two or three done and then we'll we'll release them. So, you know, those, you know, I, funnily enough, I was only looking at them the other day and, and going, oh, these are, these are really nice. So, uh, yeah. Lovely. So, uh, yeah, I get, I get to play with them, Don, but you don't. <laughs> we'll take pictures and show. Oh, and and once you're once you have that going, there's so much, so many vehicles. I yeah. forget, I forget myself, and I'm the one that that makes <laughs> makes them. Yeah. Um, to the vehicles, I can tell you there are about eight, no, nine more vehicles coming out. That's already well, so, designed. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just been sitting. And, and just waiting so yeah. but they're they're there I'm good cool well it's i think we've pretty much covered what we wanted to talk about um again yeah. i i want to thank everybody for the support um uh, it's been great um uh, and we we love the ideas and uh i know a couple of you have asked me to do videos painting videos on vehicles and uh real quick i airbrush everything so I have to figure out how to get the camera in a certain way so that I can airbrush and, and all that sort of stuff. I got to figure that out. Might have my, my my buddy Andrew come over and help film it. But um, I've gotten a lot of requests for that. And I want to let you know that the way I do vehicles, I have to do it very easy and very fast uh, because I have a lot of them to, to, to paint. Mm -hmm. So, But most important, when I paint them, I paint them for myself. And I found a very happy medium between what I consider good war game quality uh, and also so that they are painted nice for the camera. So, uh, but a lot of people have asked me and I, and I paint with an airbrush. So if, if you guys want to learn how to do an airbrush, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you and at least tell you where, where to go. But I, an airbrush is a very valuable tool to learn to use. Yeah. This vehicle. I'd, I'd be tuning in. God, I'll do it. I just got to figure out how to, <laughs> like you, I've got all the equipment. I, I I had the hand paint and the figure paint down, it's the airbrush. But you know, from priming your your figures, you know, it's going to get yeah. cold. The ability to prime your figures uh, to terrain, you know, using your airbrush to paint terrain, and it's just yeah. a time. To, it, yeah, it's yeah. Time to I'd, yeah. I'd you know, I'd, I'd watch that. You know, I'd, you know. Um, Whenever I do big painting, I use rattle cans uh, as my starting point. But right. you know, I have I, I, you know I bought an airbrush, but like many of my things, it's all the gear and no idea. Um, <laughs> so if somebody you know if you do a video, Tim, I'll be I'll be there watching. It. So yeah. <laughs> and you know, there's plenty of people that are way better at it than me. I just found what, thankfully, inside well, yeah. a way that what works for me. So that I can move on to the next model, you know. Um, and I, for big, big buildings, I use rattle cans first, but then I use an airbrush for, yes, for, for shading and highlighting yeah. and, and pigments. I paint with a lot of pigments, you know, the pigment powders and stuff. Um, Tim, so, this is all good stuff. We should see. I'd get make some videos. Yeah. I'd love to see. All. Well, so, so, so when we come back in a month's time, Tim, if you've got the first video to post, that six be first six nice. videos, yeah. Bastards! I'll, I'll accept the challenge. I'll accept the challenge. I see Andrew messaged me, so maybe I'll have him come over and and hold the camera while I paint. Yeah. But we, we, but that lends to other discussions of where we're going to be posting all these, so that we, we'll yeah. talk offline. But I yeah. think definitely, yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. All right, I think we've we, we got any more questions everything? before we go. Let's just ask: Is there any any more questions before we go? I think someone asked about the Crusades. Uh, right. Where is he? Uh, Stanislav Armin Beren said, uh, by cru Crusades, you mean just Crusaders? Hopefully latter ones of the 12th century, as everybody is doing just the old one for the first Crusade, or even some enemies for them. Uh, we plan to do both sides. You know, we all, uh, Futsal's already got a caliphate range, but we would look to do more and uh 
we, we <laughs> Paul, Paul and I haven't agreed yet on the period, <laughs> the timeline for it, uh, which we want to do. I would like to do. Uh, I'm more interested in the actual settlers in in the Crusader Thank kingdoms, you. Yeah. you know, so than than the Holy Orders. So there's lots of people doing the uh, doing that. It's easy to do Templars and all of that stuff, and, and we would do, we will do some, of course. But I'm more interested in doing uh, the the guys who settled over there. And it would be it would be a bit later, yeah. <laughs> so mm. that, so that that's what we're doing. But yes, both both sides of the conflict. I think we need to do. And uh, Michael, at least Tim gets a choice. I get no choice on hairstyle, so <laughs> yeah, I'm just jealous, mate. Yeah, I know. I need to get a haircut. I'm just taking the time to leave the house <laughs> 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 when you have everything you need here. So, Saladin figure from Kingdom of Heaven. Saladin figure from Kingdom of Heaven. Andy has been hearing it for me for what two years, I think now. Yeah, I think for all of us, it's one of our favourite films. We love it. The right, the right version of it. Yeah. Historically, uh, whose right version? <laughs> See, there's the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, this is the argument, isn't it, that we keep having? I don't want to make the figures from the film. So that that's the I yeah, you want to make the, I don't, you want to make the characters. Yes, I don't want to I oh, oh, I don't um, <laughs> as long as we make, as long as we make the cooler of ice so that we can have the figures have a, a cup of ice yeah. offered yeah. to the yeah. thirsty knights. And then and then cut his head off, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I love I love the way the figure looks, Jonathan, the Saladin figure. I think he looks. Uh, I think he he looks he looks great, you know the armor and stuff. But I don't I don't I don't want to make the. I, how much do we have to pay? If you raise enough, jo Jonathan, if you raise enough money, right, for me to go and get him sculpted, I will get him sculpted. Uh, I will get the Saladin model sculpted from kingdom of heaven i just and i yeah think uh yeah i i i've been talking i i have been ask, talking ask, to andy somebody ask uh, andy if we're going to make any ninjas for two <laughs> for two years almost i think it's been two years we're already don't worry don't worry <laughs> go on go on <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim is persistent I love, oh. I love, I love the film. I really love the film. I love uh, the, I love the historical characters that were involved in it. Uh, but uh, we'll see. But it's the, it's the period I'm interested in. That's the you period I'm like interested elves. in. Oh, I guess yeah. you do like elves. We should do. What was that, Tim? I says I was making a joke about Orlando Bloom being an elf from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, would it be good to make the Crusader range the same period as the Baron Boar's miniatures? Yes, to, uh, Tony, it would be. But I, I uh, intend to cover 1090, 1067 to 1321 when, by the time I've finished. So I want to make figures for all of that. So we'll see. Well, the Jerusalem would be a massive undertaking. I've got a 12 by 6 table. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so do the Eva Green miniature. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Right. Anyway, we're just right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're just drifting off now. Yeah. We right. are. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you Brilliant. all for taking the time yeah. to to listen to us banter. I hope that it was entertaining. It's uh, it's very entertaining for me. So I hope it's entertaining for you all. Uh, again, thank you for the support during the Black Friday sales. And uh, we're here, so just send us messages, or yeah. you know, we'll be more than happy to, to answer. So, Excellent. will we will we be back before Christmas, or will it be after Christmas now? Uh, we can schedule it right now to do cr before Christmas. Should we do one before Christmas? Well, do I it, think so. Should we yeah, do a Christmas we one? We should do a Christmas one with Christmas jumpers and hats and stuff. Okay, that's fine. I'll get one. Yeah, that's you can fine. Mark's face. <laughs>
the Grinch. Point taken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do a Christmas one at the ice. Gotcha. Awesome. Hmm. Okay. Good. Well, have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Catch you all later. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>